Today I'm gonna show you one of my favorite healthy Christmas cookie recipes and I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can make it. And then I'm also gonna show you some healthy ingredients that you can use to decorate your Christmas cookies. This recipe is completely gluten, dairy and refined sugar free and it also contains good whole carbs, good protein and some healthy fats too. Hey guys, it's Liesl Jane. Today we're making healthy holiday cookies. Every year on Christmas Eve, my sister and I make cookies. It's our tradition um, and we love to decorate them and make them all pretty. And a couple of years ago when we started following healthier diets, our Christmas cookie recipe became healthier as well. So I really wanted to share this recipe with you today. I love this recipe and I love Christmas cookies. They make me feel so festive and happy. So I'm really excited to share them with you today. So let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna be making one big batch of healthy cookie batter. Then I'll divide that cookie batter in half and I'll be adding a few different ingredients to each half of the batter to make two different cookie flavors. It's really easy to do though. So first I'm gonna melt three quarters of a cup of coconut oil. I do that by placing the coconut oil into a small bowl and then placing that smaller bowl into a larger bowl filled with hot water. Just be careful not to burn your hands and also make sure that you don't get any water mixed into the coconut oil. You can also melt the coconut oil in a saucepan on the stove if you want to. And once the coconut oil has melted, I'll start adding all of the ingredients together. To a mixing bowl, I'll add two and a quarter cups of brown rice flour, half a cup of pure coconut sugar, and then a quarter cup of 100% pure maple syrup. And then one egg. If you're looking for an alternative to using egg, you can also make a chia egg. For this, you'll just mix one tablespoon of chia seeds with about three tablespoons of water and let that soak for a few minutes and become thick before adding it to the batter. And then three quarters of a cup of melted coconut oil. I'm just gonna start mixing all of that together and I'll also add a little pinch of sea salt. And mix it up again. Now what I'm gonna do is divide the cookie batter in half and make each half a different flavor. Cause sometimes I just can't decide which flavor to choose. I love both of them. I'm gonna make the first half of the batter ginger flavor and I'm gonna make the second half of the batter vanilla flavor. So I'll add about one tablespoon of ginger powder and one teaspoon of cinnamon to half of the batter to make a delicious Christmassy ginger snap flavored cookie and one to two teaspoons of ground vanilla powder to the second half to make a classic vanilla flavored Christmassy cookie. You can also use vanilla extract, that will be perfect too. And I'll just mix the ingredients into the batter. Sometimes I like to start mixing the batter with a fork and then continue with my hands. Just make sure that you wash your hands before you do this. And I'll just clean up all the little crumbs on the counter. Now I'm gonna start adding the batter to my baking trays. I'm gonna bake each half of the batter on a separate tray just so that I know which flavor's which and because the batch is quite big too. I've already preheated my oven to about 180 degrees Celsius, which is about 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've lined my baking trays with some parchment paper. I've also lightly greased the parchment paper with a little bit of extra coconut oil, just so that the cookies lift off the trays easily once they're cooked and so they don't crumble. Now I'm gonna roll the cookie dough into small balls that are all about the same size. So I'll just take a little bit of batter and roll it between my palms. So this was the first half of the cookie batter that I laid out on a baking tray. It was the ginger cinnamon flavor. So now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the second half of the cookie batter, the vanilla flavor. And after I've added the cookie dough balls to the baking tray, I'm quickly just gonna arrange them so that all the cookies have enough space between them. Now I'm going to gently push them down onto the tray with my fingers to give them a cookie shape. And then this is optional, but I'm gonna gently press the back of a fork into some of the cookies to give them little lines on top. This is a really easy way to decorate your cookies. And I'm just gonna do that on a few of the cookies. And then I'm gonna gently push the tips of the fork prongs into some of the other cookies to have some variation with the decorating. And I'm also gonna leave some of them plain because I'm about to dip these ones into healthy chocolate that I'm about to make and then decorate them. This is the best part. And now the cookies are ready to go in the oven. So you'll bake them at 180 degrees Celsius or about 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 25 minutes. 
depending on how soft or crunchy you like them, how thick you make them, and how many cookies you decide to divide the batter into. I like to do about 20 minutes. And after about 20 minutes, the cookies are ready. So after the cookies have cooled, it's time for the best part. It is time to decorate them. I'm so excited. So I've just moved the cookies onto some cute little dishes and I'm about to start decorating. I'm gonna show you some healthy ingredients that I love to use to decorate my holiday cookies. Okay, so this is where things are gonna get a little bit fancy. I'm about to make some healthy chocolate that you can dip the cookies into. This is insanely good. First, what you'll need is four tablespoons of cacao powder, which is just raw and sweetened cocoa. Three tablespoons of 100% pure maple syrup. You can also use xylitol syrup if you want to. A quarter cup of melted coconut oil. And then just mix it all together. You can also use cacao butter instead of coconut oil for the chocolate if you want to. If you use coconut oil, the cookies will have to be kept in the fridge so that the chocolate doesn't melt, unless you live in a very cold climate. But if you use cacao butter, then the chocolate won't melt at room temperature. So you can use either coconut oil or cacao butter, you'll use the same amount for each and you'll melt them both the same way. And then this is optional, but I like to add a little tiny pinch of sea salt to enhance the chocolate flavor and about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and a little pinch of ground vanilla powder or a drop of vanilla extract. And now we are ready to decorate these cookies. This is my favorite part of making Christmas cookies. It's so much fun to decorate them and make them look all pretty and festive. So what I've got for my cookie toppings are some raw de-shelled pistachio nuts, some raw pecan nut halves, raw hazelnuts, which I've chopped up quickly, some dried cranberries and some desiccated coconut. You can also use coconut flakes. These are all really Christmassy flavors and the colors are really festive too, especially the colors of the pistachio nuts and the dried cranberries. So now what I'm gonna do is really, really easy. I'm just dipping each cookie into the chocolate, covering half of the cookie on both sides and then placing it on a piece of parchment paper. And I'll just decorate each cookie with toppings as I go so that the chocolate doesn't have time to set before I get to decorate them. I sprinkled some desiccated coconut onto the first cookie and I'm adding some hazelnut pieces onto the second cookie and I'm gonna top the next cookie with a pecan nut half and some raw pistachio nut pieces to the next one. I love the color of the pistachio nuts, it's so pretty. And then I'm topping the next one with a few dried cranberries. I really love the dried cranberries with the chocolate, it's so delicious. And I'll just keep going until all of the cookies are dipped in chocolate and decorated. I think I love topping the ginger cookies with pecan nuts and hazelnuts the most. And I love topping the vanilla cookies with dried cranberries, pistachios, and coconut the most. All of these toppings go so well with the chocolate though. I'm just obsessed with these cookies. And I've just dipped and decorated the plain cookies from the batch, not the ones that I made the little patterns on with the fork, but there's enough chocolate here to dip all of the cookies from the entire batch. I'm just showing you some different ways that you can decorate them. They're really good plain and they're really good dipped in chocolate too. I love both of them. If you just wanna dip half the batch in chocolate, then you can just make half the amount of chocolate. And now once they're all decorated, I'll just place the cookies in the fridge for about five minutes so that the chocolate can set. And once the chocolate has set, they are ready to eat, which is the best, best part of the whole thing. This recipe makes about 25 to 30 cookies. And if you measure out the batter to make 30 cookies, then each cookie will be about 110 calories without any of the toppings. If you dip each cookie into chocolate like I showed you so that half of it's covered in chocolate, then each cookie will be roughly 130 calories. The toppings will add a few more calories, but not many. For example, adding one pecan at half to a cookie will add another 10 calories to that cookie, just in case you wanna know. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that you enjoyed making healthy holiday cookies with me. If you wanna see more recipe videos, then give this video a thumbs up. I'm also gonna put the full recipe over on my blog for you, so you can go check that out if you want to. I'm gonna put a link to that below this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure that you like it and share it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I hope that you enjoy the holidays and have a really great time and let me know if you make these Christmas cookies. Okay, I'll see you soon.